Tonight, I'm going to take a bigger risk than anyone has ever taken on television before. In just a few moments, I'm going to be handcuffed to this solid steel frame, and I'll have exactly 90 seconds to free myself before the claw on this robotic arm undoes my pants, exposing me to an audience of children. If that happens, an LAPD officer is standing by to arrest me for indecent exposure. We've all seen escape artists risk death before, but tonight, I'm going to risk something even worse, becoming a registered sex offender for life. And what you're going to see tonight is 100% real. Welcome to Nathan For You. This is the Claw of Shame. All right, we're back, and this is it. The stage is set. Nathan has 90 seconds to free himself from those cuffs and hit that red button to his right. The button is a kill switch. It is the only thing that can stop the programmed motion of the robot from taking off Nathan's pants in front of these kids. And now he will deliver the line given to him by Judge Filosa. Something might happen here, and if it does, so what? And with that, he has established willful intent, so if he exposes himself tonight in the eyes of the law, it will not be considered an accident. Ready. And the 90-second clock has started. There's the robot. Nathan appears as though he's pulled a pick from his hair, and that's what he's working on those handcuffs with. But we are 80 seconds away from a lifetime of scorn for Nathan. Now the robot going to that, that fly. The fly is down. And while he's working on the handcuffs, the robot continues to work on the pants. Loop on the button now undone. We're under 60 seconds, and the robot is almost halfway home. You see he's exposed to fifth loop on the underpants. The kids are laughing, but I can assure you, Nathan is not. Under 50 seconds, and he's dropped the pick. Did it catch? It looks like it's caught on his clothing, and now he's trying to retrieve it, and he's got it. Got it with his, what a close call as he retrieves the pick with his tongue. Had that fallen to the ground, it, it would have been all over. And next is going to be the loop on his right hip. This is getting tight here. The robot now has both pant legs down, is about to secure the loop on the underpants, and Nathan's still working on those cuffs. We are just 20 seconds away. Nathan working those handcuffs. It looks like with the pants down, the robot's going for that underwear loop. Nathan has not broken free. We're under 10 seconds. The robot is pulling down. We have just a couple seconds left. Oh, no. We are seeing pubic hair, but he has escaped. Nathan Fielder has managed to escape and save himself from a lifetime of shame.